Oh my god, I have no. Oh, this is a terrible start to the vlog. Hold on. Okay, let's start that over again. Good morning, besties. It's St. Patrick's Day. I'm just getting over a cold and I'm wearing my green the bar sweatshirt. Um, it's a little chilly this morning. We need to get rye bread from a bakery, but I have some time to kill before I have. So I was gonna get the rye bread, then go to my eyelash appointment. But I have a little bit of time to kill in that time frame. So I was thinking we should get Chick-fil-A breakfast. Thoughts, comments, concerns? So I really want the chicken minis. So I think we should go get it right now. I'm gonna give you guys like your own little YouTube exclusive mukbang because I don't do that anymore. So you're getting a little mukbang in this vlog. It's gonna be a daily vlog, just like St. Patrick's Day with my family. We're gonna cook. My mom just put the corned beef in the pot. She thinks it's, first of all, my mom, I mean, my dad and Brett don't eat corned beef. So it's just me and my mom. So she got a small one and she was like, oh my God, I think it's too small. Can you get another? And I was like, girl, there's only two of us. Like, I'm sure it's not too small. It's two people. How much corned beef can we freaking eat? She's crazy. She's crazy. But yeah, I'm so excited for my chicken minis. And then let's hope I find a bakery with rye bread because it's kind of harder than it sounds. I was like Googling and like this bakery I usually get donuts from says they have it. So we're gonna try there. I have made it to Chick-fil-A. I'm a little bit embarrassed because I was here yesterday. Can it focus on me ever? I'm a little embarrassed because I did come here yesterday, but that was for lunch. This is breakfast, <laughs> different foods. Um person in front of me is such a loud orderer. I wonder what my mom said about the corned beef. Like, do we really need another? I shouldn't say anything else when I was like, oh, stop it. There's literally two people eating it. How big of a freaking corned beef do we need? Okay, I just told him I have a pickup order. That's a good day. How many today? Hi, I have a pickup order for Cody. Okay. Yeah. What was name? Cody. Cody R. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. My sick voice is like kind of gone, so that's lit as fuck. At least I think it's gone. I don't think I sound sick anymore. I feel kind of great. I took a really long hot shower, put on a little makeup, blew out my hair. It was hair wash day. I was like, what a great day to like really feel better. I'm like kind of hungry. It's nine o'clock. Should I be this hungry at nine o'clock? Probably not. I had a really good dinner last night. I went to Prime House in Garden City. It's slowly becoming one of my favorites. The waiters like couldn't be nicer. The wait staff. I've never seen a woman waiter there. Waitress, wait staff. They couldn't be nicer. Every time, great conversation, so sweet. Lovely. I had crab legs, they were really good. I feel like I, I never get crab legs. I don't like anything I have to like myself, which I know sounds bratty, but I don't like to work for food, especially if it's something a little pricier. Like I love stone crab, but that is my number one complaint. Like that is fucking work to get it out. And you're paying so much money, like buy, it's so annoying. <sighs> Is that just me? Like, if you're paying a lot of money, not a lot of money, but if you're paying, like, I don't know. You know what I mean. If it's, like, something that's a special food item, like, damn, now I gotta work, too? I'm out to eat. I mean, that's because I cook a lot. I feel that way. I don't know. But I liked the crab legs there because they're sliced, and it's like um, a lobster tail. You just literally pull it out with your fork. It was awesome. Yeah. I have a lot of energy right now. I slept like a rock. My phone is like fine. I'm not like holding it while driving, obviously. <laughs> oh my God, I want these chicken minis. Wow, they have a, a bowl. <coughs> I didn't know the burrito here you could get in a bowl. That sounds kind of good. Oh my God, thank God I have water. I'm not really sick anymore. Well, I have like a little bit of a runny nose. And my throat is just so fucking dry. 
I don't know what it why it's so dry like girl the sickness is kind of over like why are you still so dry I have like a million cough drops in the car with me I don't know if I'm gonna have time for the bakery now before my lash appointment it might be chick-fil-a lashes then find a bakery we're gonna see but I'll come back when I get my chick-fil-a I'm still in the drive-thru line I got a coffee from them which I normally don't because it's like there's no options to change it it's just like pre-made and they literally make it with like pure sugar but okay we're gonna have it anyway because I didn't have a coffee yet that is sweet as hell but I'm not gonna lie whatever their blend is it's really fucking good mmm okay obviously I got chicken minis I'm a chicken mini meal girl I think it's delicious. They give me a lot of Chick-fil-A sauce. And it comes with hash browns. And napkins. Amazing. I have a roll of toilet paper in here to blow my nose. So. Napkins are great. <laughs> okay. We should put that on the ground. Okay. Garbage bag. I think these are the hash browns. Oh. I need to open a sauce. I got these little trash things for my cup holders on the side of my door. I found them on TikTok. Well, they're on Amazon, but I found them through TikTok, I should say. Chick-fil-A sauce. Gotta have a hash brown first. Mm. Oh my god, their hash browns are good. Okay. Oh god, I almost spilled everything. Ugh, they smell so good. I know you can like buy these rolls apparently from the grocery store. Look at that like honey butter brush on it. Like the container is wet. Of course I'm getting a coughing attack right as I'm about to eat. Why wouldn't I? Ugh. Mmm, I'm so happy. These are so good. Mmm. Wow. I haven't had these in forever. Oh my god. I feel like Trisha Paytas right now. I used to watch her car mukbangs like religiously. But she would always stress me out because she would literally be like driving and eating whatever it was. Like trying to find a parking space but then she just ends up like driving the whole time. Mm. Mm. I should probably break out that um, tray table, but it's not like they have so much to display. <sighs> These are so cute. Mm. Should we do a thumbnail? I can't hold this in front of my face long without taking a bite out of it, so. Hopefully we got the shot. <laughs> Ooh, I just squirted sauce. Mmm. Mm. I have to say, I love eyelash extensions. Like, I feel like they just totally change my whole look. I hate laying there so much. I hate it. And it's been like two weeks for my lashes since I got these put on. So I switched places and I had them take off the ones from the last place because I felt like they just really didn't do a good job and I was just really unhappy with them. But someone in my comments yesterday on TikTok was like, girl, it's time for a fill. Like those seven lashes are holding on for dear life. And I was like... Let me show you guys. It was like, okay, if, they, if it was really like seven lashes, like I'm with you. First of all, I was sick earlier this week. And you know what? Mind your fucking business. I think I have more than seven, I think is what I wrote back, but. Like, bye. And of course it's always people they don't have a real picture, they have no followers, no following, and their account's private. Like, 
Because of course, my nose is gonna run. I wanted to look at their profile and be like, they must have some great lashes the way they're talking. Couldn't even see. Couldn't even see what they had going on. That's the thing, like, if you're gonna come for someone, okay. You better be the most perfect person on the planet. Talking about my eyelashes and how I look, whatever. Mm. So stupid. Mmm. I love these. Mmm. Those went quick. Wow. Now just hash browns. <laughs> and the coffee. The coffee is good. It's just super sweet. I like that. Oh god, I almost dropped a hash brown. I feel like that coffee is like an, an actual, like, that's a treat. <sighs> a sweet treat. Mmm. Well, I'm just going to finish up my hash browns. They give you a lot, actually. I feel like I haven't been putting a dent in them. Oh, no. I can't even see that. So I'm going to finish up my hash browns. And then, yeah, I don't have time to go to the bakery then. My lash appointment, so. Lash appointment. Then we will get rye bread. And then apparently I have to get the cabbage, too. So yeah, big day, big day ahead of us. Okay, made it to eyelashes, I'm about to go in. When I come out, I'll be even more beautiful than I am right now, imagine that. So, see you in like 45 minutes, Mwah. Eyelashes are done, I think they look beautiful. You can always tell I got my eyelashes done because my eyebrows, <coughs> excuse me, will be a little messed up. Which is fine, but now I have like one perfect brown, one like shitty brown. <laughs> I forgot I have a pickup order at Sephora. I got a new perfume. So we'll do a unboxing in the car as soon as I get it. My eyes are a little dry right now. So is my throat. Um, but yeah, Sephora time. Okay, I did just stop home, but I want to show you the perfume I got before I go inside. Because my dad texted me I got a big package from Daily Harvest. So I figured let's go home, unbox that, and then find rye bread and get my mom more corned beef because she keeps texting me about it. Okay, I got the YSL Black Opium. I've been wanting it for a while and I didn't know it was like sold out or something. Am I not in focus? What the hell? Okay, I'm in focus. <laughs> okay, here we go. But I got an email saying like, oh, it's back. And I was like, where to go? I love the bottle, the freaking glitter, come on. Ooh. Oh yeah. Mm. It's super sweet. I'm just giving like rich, you know, like it just smells luxe. I like it, it's more of like a nighttime-y perfume for me. But I like it, it's very like sweet. And just like gorgeous okay let's go in I'm working with daily harvest next week I don't know if I can talk about it but I just am going to it's like a virtual event I'm doing with them or like attending their virtual event I'm not really sure but we have to unbox the stuff I got so let's go do that okay finally back in the car I walked the dogs hung out with Brett cleaned my bathroom because Brett's friend is staying with us this weekend um, I have my roll of tissues. Brett's coming with me to the bakery. We have to get rye bread and I didn't tell Brett this, but we also have to uh, get another corned beef. So, that's what we're doing. I'm vlogging, but you don't have to say hi. Your hair looks good though, you wanna say hi? No. Okay, right, well, Brett's having a good hair day if anybody cares. All right, so I'll update you when we're at the bakery, I guess. Okay, lots to update. Um, we went to the bakery. I didn't film in there because oh my god, it was anxiety inducing. The bakery is this big, but I didn't think it'd be so crowded today. But I guess it's a Friday and it's St. Patrick's Day, so I have to put on the air conditioning. Is that crazy or what? It is so hot and the sun is beating on the car. Brett's in CVS right now. We went to the bakery and I got two things of rye bread. I got two loaves. 
one seeded, one not, and I said not to slice it, which I feel like my mom's gonna be like, you didn't get it sliced? But in the moment I was just like, oh no, it's okay, because I just wanted to get out of there, because it was like, there were so many people just on top of each other. Um, great bakery though, Sweet Surrender Bakehouse, and then on the way home, we went to Ivorone, because my mom wouldn't stop texting me that the corned beef is too small, and she forgot to buy cabbage, so I got a corned beef. I hope I bought the right thing. It was just in the corned beef section, I just put grab the first one it was two and a half pounds the other one's a pound and a half so together that's four pounds so like that's gotta be fine and we got I did also get some other food just like to have for the weekend um so I feel like over the weekends I've just been like eating out constantly and like I've also been really bad about posting it on TikTok I feel like the weekends have just been like my time um and sometimes it's just nice being able to be with like family or friends and not have to worry about feeling myself eating but I got Italian bread, I got these like chicken sliders, Italian sliders that like I'll cook. Um, I got some cold cuts, a mutz ball, what else did we get? The corned beef, cabbage, is that what we got? That prob that's probably right, just Italian bread, cold cuts, mutz, the stuff for tonight. Yeah. Oh, and we got donuts too for dessert tonight. Cause my dad loves jelly donuts and we got them from the bakery we got the rye bread from and Brett's in CVS right now he needed new I think hair products and he was like you're gonna come in with me and I think he felt embarrassed because I was like yeah I'll come in with you and he was like no no like I'll be five minutes like sometimes I think he hates going to stores with me because I'm like mom mode <laughs> like I have my big bag on I'm like Brett what do you want you want anything <laughs> like we were walking around eyebrow and I was like, you don't want anything? Like, look, I was like, they have buffalo chicken rolls and calzones. I was like, you don't, you don't want anything? Come on. And that's just how I am in a store, though. It's like, all right, we're here. And, like, he's hungry and there's a KFC right there. We get out and he's like, you know, KFC, I kind of want a chicken sandwich. And I was like, all that great food and I've grown. And you want KFC. But I'm not mad about it because I really want a soda. So I told him, okay, I'll take it through the KFC because I need a soda. Oh my god, I thought that was Brett, it was a little boy. <laughs> Does anyone else do that? If you have a younger sibling, like, and me and Brett have, like, a pretty decent age gap. Like, I'm four years older than him, so. Like, I'm closer to 30, he's closer to 20. So sometimes I just feel like I mom him a little bit, and I, like, can't even help it. Like, he's just gonna be, like, my little baby brother. He hates that. He hates when I call him my little brother. He was like, just call me your brother. I'm like, okay. I'm just like ranting. This is gonna be like an entirely car vlog, which is probably so fucking annoying. But I'll film more like with my family when we get home and like my mom's cooking the cabbage and she gets home from work and stuff. She should come home early because it's Friday. I posted nothing on TikTok except for a clap back at that person who said my lashes needed to fill. Oh my God, why is the sound doing that on my fucking phone? It's not getting any views. <laughs> what else is new? I feel like I'm always in a fucking slump. <coughs> um, okay. Hi. Hi. Are you sure you want me to move that to the thing so you can move your legs? We're good. Oh, toothpaste, that's what you needed. I've used that. Complete white thing. Nice. Yeah, I didn't know they had a whitening one, so I got this. This will help both ends. Very cool, yeah. okay. So we're going to KFC now? Yeah. This is just like a full fast food I was gonna video go on, for me because... I was going to go into Umberto's, but then I realized, like, i got to get, oh, yeah. get her a soda, so we'll go to KFC. Okay. Well, thanks for including me. Because I love you. I love you. Um, God, this parking lot is fucking nuts. Yeah. If you ever come to the Ivor in Wanta... You watch left, I'll watch right. Oh, God, there's people, too, I have to look for. Oh, jeez. Am I gonna hit anyone? No. Jesus. You get on the right. Okay, well, the way you just moved made me nervous. Well, I don't see anyone my way. Up. Well, is someone coming my way? I gotta go for it. I gotta go for it. Yeah, I know, bro. Chill. There's no one behind you. Go. I know, I'm, I'm going. Oh my god, bro. I you need could a have wide gone berth. Back well, he's turning anyway, so who gives Thank a shit? Thank god. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, we're back home. Brett's already complaining that corned beef is disgusting. Because <laughs> I have to now add the new corned beef to the pot we already have 
she's right, that is a kind of tiny corned beef. Um, okay, so you guys are gonna be here with me as I add the new one. This is a journey together. I was gonna change into like this cuter like green top I bought, but I'm already in this sweatshirt, so whatever. Oh God, corned beef juice is going everywhere. This was $17, my God. We also got Italian bread, cold cut, mmm, good stuff. Cause tomorrow I might like make Italian chicken sliders that we got with like fresh mutts and, do I add the juice? No, just the, can I do this with my hands? Oh my God, I'm like raw dogging the fucking corned beef. Can I chill out? Layer. Here's the seasoning guy. Okay, and then I have to cover it with water. It says cold water, my mom's cookbook. Bring it to a boil. And then I have to cover it on simmer for three to three and a half hours. And right now it's, that clock is wrong. What time is it actually? It's 2.18. So I'm thinking by six o'clock, it'll definitely be done. Fingers crossed. <laughs> year all freshman team in the big east and he was actually freshman of the week six times this season Hot shooting start for both teams okay here's the update i know everyone's dying for the update we have about 17 minutes left on the corned beef i'm going to show you what it looks like i think it's hard to tell until you stick a fork in it and pull the beef up but it's definitely shrunken down so hopefully in the next 17 minutes it'll be nice and tender but mom brought home pizza for dad and Brett. Looks amazing. Me and mom split a slice, obviously. Little appetizer. How could you not? She also got grandma, which I'm not into this grandma. I feel like I like the grandma where it's like sauce all over it. Like the cheese under. This one's a little too like new age fancy for me. Caraway seed for our cabbage. The rye breads are freaking huge. I can't wait. <laughs> the worst vlogger because I was too busy. Recording for my TikTok, mom's cabbage recipe and everything else. Here's our corned beef. It turned out delicious. It kind of looks gross, I'm not gonna lie. But my God, it was perfect. I put a little bit of the garlic, Trader Joe's mustard on this, put the corned beef, roll it up like a nice sandwich. And then here's mom's sauteed cabbage. If you want the recipe, it's on my TikTok. Basically it's butter, olive oil, fresh orange juice, caraway seed, salt, pepper, and it's wonderful. All we've done really is just like eat dinner and watch basketball as a family. But um, I got the Lemmy Sleep from Kourtney Kardashian and the Lemmy Focus. I got them from Revolve because I know it's two day shipping. Um, but that's really it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm pretty much just gonna go to bed now. Um, but yeah, I love you all so much. Stay tuned for the next vlog and I'm gonna try to be more consistent on here said me after every video. Okay, bye. I love you.